So this is the second module of our day one. In this video, I'm going to explain, create a money collection point. Uh, what is a money collection point? So the first thing is that a money collection point is a point where people will come and pay you. Now this money collection point can be anything. It can be your website, it can be just a Canva image, it can be your Facebook page, it can be a landing page, it can be anything. The main thing about money collection point is that it needs to be very specific and targeting the right customer. Like when a person come to your money collection point, they, within two seconds they need to know what your business is about and what service you're going to offer. And that's the main thing. So in this money collection point, I'm going to talk about the website. By the way, those of you guys who want a pre-made uh, psychology based website that I created you can download the description it's in the description box it's not free it's paid by the way sorry but you can easily create this after you learn what I'm going to talk about all right so there are many ways that you can make money from your money collection point the number one by the way these are not uh, the the step-by-step -step process is not based on the the importance but it's just a random random uh you know random ways all right so number one is affiliate commission through other businesses now here are two types of affiliate commission when you have a landing page you can you can ask other businesses or similar businesses that hey i have a group of customers that wants to buy your that wants to buy or try to buy your product would you would you be willing to give me a commission for that and 99% of the time people will be like yes I will give you commission for that so that's the affiliate uh, commission through other businesses in this case in this um, rental business case what I did is that at first I went to my nearest landlord who has long-term and short-term rentals and I asked them hey Hey, hello sir can I uh, can I send you uh, long-term rental customers like people who will be uh, who will who will stay in your apartment for like six or twelve months and for that how much money are you willing to pay me and then we would discuss and we will you know we will um, and we'll come to a term now to make the whole process very easier you can just apply a commission based uh, a percentage based commission for example someone is giving their rentals for $650 a month you can say can I have 25% or 20% commission very simple that and people are very willing to pay you if you give if you show them the result at the beginning that's called result based selling and uh, and then the second one is the short-term businesses. So you will, around your community, you will see a lot of uh, apartment owners that willing to have a high return in their businesses, which is called short-term. People want to stay there for two or three nights or maybe you know, four or five times, whatever they want. You can, you go to them and you ask them, I will help you getting customers. What is my commission? And, you know, you can negotiate, of course, or you can do the best thing I can tell you, which is, let's say someone is selling their apartment for $100 a night. What you can tell them, because I I want to make money, I, I can't increase the rate from the market. In, if I increase the rate from the market, people are not going to buy because I need to make sure that the price is fair. What I can do is that I can give you $80 a night or $60 a night, a little bit lower than the normal rate but I can make sure that I will give you guests over and over again concept clear and then you mark it up this is how you mark up let's say you're getting an apartment for one year at $60 a night right you can mark up to $100 a night so your profit is $40 a night now you have to understand you don't have to clean the apartment you don't have to furnish them but you don't have to do anything it's all goes to the owner's headache your job is to get him clients and to get him clients now let's say in a good day you can if you have a constant rate if you have a fixed rate with the owner let's say sixty dollars an hour sixty dollars a night you can mark it up to 120 dollars a night or 150 dollars and it completely depends on you and that's how you can scale and you can control the price in the market very easily so that's the basic thing of affiliate commission through other businesses that you give them clients, you give them customers and you make a profit from your own. 
the second two, the second uh, way you can make money with this is that the direct sales. So what are the direct sales? So in this case, you have two options. Uh, you actually have two types of people that you can sell your products. The number one is that you can directly sell your service to the owners. You can charge them a yearly fee or you know you can charge them uh, you can charge uh, their products let's say you can charge them uh, bed sheets you can buy those bed sheets you can charge them pillows and all of these things different stuff you can sell those to your owners on the other hand you can sell like uh, toiletries you can sell toothbrushes you can sell anything to your customers or the guests that are willing to come to your rentals you can sell them these things so those things are physical product by the way so those things are direct sales you can sell both to the owners and both to the guests the the third option that i have is called membership fee which i have implemented in my business and it worked perfectly so the membership fee is like you can charge it to the owners you know the uh, the apartment owners is that if you want to be a member in our group in our businesses then you need to pay me let's say hundred dollars a month or three hundred dollars a month something like that it up it, it it completely depends up to you and your business how many people you're hiring to run the whole operation when i started this business it was just me uh, who are running this business right now we have a five people team and i need to pay them a monthly uh, salary every month so of course we need more liquid more money into our business and so because of that, I am charging right now membership fee to all of my owners. At the moment, I'm working with 50 apartment owners. So you see how serious this business is. And the, the last way that you can make money is rent out ad spaces. Now, this is a very interesting way. People, the, the people who are asking for your services, or let's say the people who are asking for your rental businesses, they just don't want uh, just one services. They want different types of service. For example, if we have a lot of people coming to our city from other cities, they want to visit the city around us, or they want to you know visit different places uh, and the thing, and they need motorcycle access, right, scooters or something like that, or people who are moving out from their apartment to our apartment, they need service with moving helpers and this and that. So, I just research in my in my own business is that what are the verticals uh, that uh, that goes along with my business so number one I found out is the moving services like people wants to you know help regarding uh, moving out this and that boxes packages uh, rental insurance and there's like scooters if it's about you know Airbnb type business so you make a list uh, of all these businesses that's existent already in your city and you approach them and you tell them hey I have a business I have customers I'll, I'm willing to share my customers with you what kind of commission I'm gonna get so you can rent out your you know businesses to them so in this way you can uh, you can you can of course this is a new uh, you know income stream for your business. So this is the fourth part. So you guys can you know figure it out on your own uh, If you guys you know want to have new ways to make money just uh, Comment us out and it will be very helpful for the community So the number third So the number third uh, that it's very crucial for your day one is create a business math and goals for the next six months so there's a there's a there's a there's a saying that i have read in a book is that there are two types of people who go to war one is they prepare to win and another one is they prepare to lose so before doing anything in life before doing anything in life if you don't have a clear vision what you're going to do what your goals are to do is this 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 you are preparing yourself to fail be clear guys try to understand what i'm saying is that if you don't have a specific goal in life uh, or in business what you want to do you're preparing yourself to fail so before you start learning or go through the whole process again just just get your uh, head completely clear and understand that what you need to do and what needs to be done what are the main key points of having success in your business 
where you can get the communities, who are the people, uh, apartment owners around you, how you can approach them. Do you have enough funds to go for them? Do you have enough um, in a business mindset to go for them? Have this thing in a piece of paper and write them down. And then, and then make a plan and create a plan. In the meantime, read some books. Read some books like uh, entrepreneurship. I will I will um, suggest some books in the in the description of the channel. So just just look all of them and uh, make a plan. Make a plan for a week. You know, and brainstorm it. What what problems you will be facing when you build this business? So build all of these things and then go for it. All right. So. You know make a plan that's the basic thing so this will be your um, the money collection point and creating a business and goals and everything and on the next video I will talk with you what you need to do for the day two until day fourth until then